Herculaneum. Another of Mount Vesuvius' victims. Both this city and the much more famous Pompeii were destroyed during the volcano's same eruption back in 79 AD. There's two key things that make Pompeii more famous than Herculaneum though, and it isn't the 2014 film starring Kit Harrington. It's that Pompeii has the famous plaster casts of the human bodies which were made in the 1800s, and of course it's much bigger. But it was Herculaneum that was discovered first, way back in 1709 and both Herculaneum and Pompeii became part of the Grand Tour after becoming popularised through collectors interested in antiquity. Collectors such as Sir William Hamilton, shown here in a painting from 1777 with Vesuvius in the background, and writer Johann Winkelmann, painted here in 1758, caused a massive growth in interest in Greek and Roman history and were instrumental in giving us these two sites today. But hey, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's rewind a little and I'll show you how we got to Herculaneum. So obviously it's close by to the modern city of Naples and you can easily get to Herculaneum by catching the train to Ercolano. This doesn't leave from Napoli Centrale station, but from the nearby Napoli Porta Nolana station. So here's the railway station at Ercolano. And then when you leave the station, it's just a short 500 meter walk to the site. But here's the entrance and we made it without an issue. There's also a gift shop here with the usual fare and toilets too. We then bought our tickets from the world's most grumpy man at a cost of 13 euros and made our way into the park. They also do a free entry on the first Sunday of the month, same as Pompeii, but it's unlikely you'll be able to do both places in a single day, mainly due to how big Pompeii is. But let's head back into Herculaneum because there's a lot to see here. Obviously the ruins are a maze of stone wonders and you can wander around for hours. But you can also enter into this building, which houses an amazingly well-preserved wooden boat from the city. And the Antiquitarium building houses a collection of items discovered during the city's excavations as well. Some are even quite comical. There's toilets in here too, and close by there's a cafe, but sorry, I forgot to film it. Anyway, it's really the city itself that's the main thing to see, so don't forget your sturdy footwear and let's head across the bridge and check out some more of this amazing place.
were lucky when we visited, even though it was raining, because being that it was the off season it was pretty quiet. In the summer though, it can be a bit mobbed with tourists here, so maybe think about coming early. Well that's it for today, we've seen it all and we're heading out to our next destination now. If you want to check out Pompeii, I'll put a link on the screen right now and I'll see you over there.